What up, what up, what up? How are we doing guys? So, I am now three days post-cop. So I finished, got my pro show last weekend, um, over the moon with third place, like, couldn't have got any better. Um, coming into it now, I'm really looking at talking about, I'm gonna do a different series, it's gonna be like a couch series, so it's not gonna be in the gym or doing comps or anything, it's gonna be here, so, for, for me, for the next few months, this is my off-season. So I've just started to come into off-season, so I'm bumping my carbs back up. Starting to come to grips with reality. Um, already coming into it, I've noticed that my sugar cravings are at an all-time high. So I'm going to do a little bit of a um, talk on post-competition. All right, so it's very important for many athletes to have a think about what they're going to do post-competition so they don't fall into bad habits and they can continue to grow and continue to gain from where they are. Um, so through IMBA, I've done four comps this year, um, one after another, after another, after another. So it's been a huge season for me. Um, and I finished where exactly where I wanted to be and I'm quite happy with that. Now, the thing is, is a lot of the people that I have met along the way, and I know some of the people within the IMBA and that type of stuff, have had that off season and they've just kind of blown out, let themselves go and it's too hard to come back. And talking with other athletes, when you do come back, it is so much harder. Um, so that leads me into pretty much post comp. It's all good to have that cheat meal um, and to do all that type of stuff, but the cheat's gonna end sometimes. Your body's craving carbohydrates in a complex form. It's not craving sugar. So you've got to think that sugar is three times more addictive than cocaine. Um, so that's pretty much going to mean that when I've been prepping for 20 to, well for me, almost five months without any big blowout with a lot of simple carbohydrates, it's very easy for me just to go into this thing of cheating day after day after day, just still thinking that oh, it's okay because I've prepped for this long. Okay, that's going to hit me so much harder. Um, my body's not used to that, so it's just going to go bang. A lot of the time, the simple carbohydrates aren't going to be towards my goal of what I want to do of putting on that muscle mass. So try and keep complex carbohydrates post-comp. Stay with your sweet potatoes, with your brown rices, low GI foods, rice cakes. Um, although they're not exciting as your Nutella donuts and all that type of stuff, yeah, you're gonna, they're more, more better for your muscle, more better for your goals. Um, mindset, so mindset's another really important thing. So I've had those 20 weeks and you may have had 20, 12 to 20 weeks or even longer into this prep and then like, it's over, just like that. So this whole week even, I haven't really focused on because I was so focused on the comp that I didn't even think that there was much existed afterwards. So now that's all gone, well, what do I do now? Okay, I'm kind of left here and um, I've got, I I've still have a plan of that I want to compete in a pro show in Bali at the end of the year, but that's quite a long time. So plan for afterwards. So I, I'm trying to grow social media stuff. I'm doing a lot of work with clients now and all that type of stuff. You want to grow, grow up as much as you can from the experience. So competition is amazing. You meet amazing people, but stay within that and keep it going. Um, yeah, so definitely that mindset's something. If you haven't competed before or you're looking at competing or you have competed in the last few weeks or even in the um, Southern Cross Champs last weekend, yeah, it's something to really think about. I'm going to run... A few videos, this should be like a five part series, I'm thinking of my nutrition, leading up into comp, what you should think about um, pre-comp, a bit more post-comp stuff, um, a question and answer video. If you guys have any questions, hit me up. Um, you can message me on my Facebook, which are in the bio below, on this YouTube channel, or, or, or my Instagram, which is jake underscore able underscore official. Um, let me know what you're thinking um, and some questions coming into post-comp. The problem where I realized post-comp where I thought, okay, this is probably has to stop, is we went past 7-Eleven, I ended up getting uh, like four Krispy Kremes. This was, what, yesterday? 
and within 10 minutes they were gone. And I obviously I've had this appetite that I feel like I cannot fill. Um, and everyone else around me probably doesn't see it as much as I do um, because they're like, oh, you were, you were so lean. Um, you, could, you deserve this, but it's not satisfying to my body, simple carbohydrates. The other thing is watching where you came from. You can only be where you are on stage ready for one day, two days at max. All right, so you're going to have to be able to deal with the mindset of once you do start adding your water and carbohydrates that you are going to put on body fat. Um, so you need to really be mentally prepared for that as well. So post-workout minds, uh, post-competition mindset can almost be just as damaging or as frustrating as coming into your peak week. Um, yeah, the next video I will run will be peak week mindset and what you should expect if you are looking at a comp or looking at entering into peak week. And then question and answer videos, a few supplement reviews of what I'm taking at the moment and what I will be taking during competition, out of competition. And maybe even I could do a pose, posing video just to show what type of stuff and get really within, especially if you're looking at different federations and IMBA is where I compete. Thanks for that, guys. You guys know where to find me. Um, hit me up with those questions and I'll make that video for you. Other than that, I'll see you guys until next time.